Filippo Brunichelli designed the dome covering the cathedral in Florence. This design is one of the most important agricultural designs of Florence. He was a sculptor and architect who influenced many important events in Quattrocento, Florence. He was born in 1377 and died on the 15th of April, 1446. Here we have Leonardo da Vinci. He was one of the greatest minds the world has ever seen. Da Vinci was born on the 15th of April, 1452. He was the main Renaissance painter, scientist and inventor. Da Vinci was interested in a lot of things such as art, music and science. He was also the creator of the Mona Lisa. He died on the 2nd of May, 1519. The Renaissance was a sculpture and decorative art in the 1400s. Renaissance art consisted of painting, sculpture and decorative arts. It was an original style in Italy. It also contributed with things like philosophy, literature, music and science. And this is one of the greatest paintings in the Renaissance time by Leonardo da Vinci called the Mona Lisa. As I said before, the Renaissance was an original style in Italy. It was also popular in southern France, Spain and northern Europe, but mainly in Italy. It was believed to start in cities like Florence. The Renaissance was considered to be the bridge between the Middle Ages and modern history. The Renaissance was a time in Europe that started in the 14th century and ended in the 17th century. It started as a cultural movement in Italy and obviously got a lot bigger and spread all over Europe, which changed the world. On the left, we have a photo of what it would have been like before the Renaissance, where people were dying and there were heaps of wars. And we, on the right, we have a photo of what it would have been like during the Renaissance, where people were creative and were building things. There was a lot of wealth in Italy from trade. The Renaissance began in Italian cities because they had the wealth from the trade of the Middle Ages. Also, the Black Death played a part in why it started because there were a lot of people dying and they wanted to start over. On the left here, we have gold and that represents it's Italy's wealth in, during the Renaissance. And on the right is a photo of the Black Death and how it would have been like for all the people dying and everyone being sick. The Renaissance didn't just change Europe, it changed the world. Finally, people could properly question things without being afraid for the first time in history. There were heaps of different arts and people shared ideas about society and politics. People got very smart and everything was taught differently to before. Geography was one of Italy's strongest subjects over northern Europe. This was because Italy gathered their wealth and broke free from the feudal system. This was a system where all people were separated by their class and every type of class had different rights. Italian cities had no choice but to help in the international trade and the market economy. The rebirth of Europe. That's what the Renaissance was and it literally means rebirth. It is a French word and it was the rebirth in European art which was influenced by classical models. This is a picture of a phoenix and it represents on how Europe's dark age at the bottom, the dead phoenix, to the rebirth. Nothing creative or original in the dark ages. That was one of the reasons why the Renaissance was a rebirth. The Renaissance was also a rebirth of classical learning and a rediscovery of ancient Rome and Greece. This was because artists looked back at the past and they thought the past was a dark age. There was nothing that was creative or original. They tried to copy Greece's way of classical art. The Renaissance was one of the most creative times in history. People wanted to go explore Europe, so more tools were invented for people to travel, and maps became more reliable. The economy also improved, and people wanted to go explore, travel, and find things for trade. Ferdinand Magellan was one of the most famous explorers in the Renaissance times. He was born in 1480 in Portugal. He died on the 27th of April, 1521. Here is a photo of Ferdinand Magellan and 
He was one of the greatest explorers in history.